passengers scream. Smoke fills the cabin aboard a Southwest Airlines flight from Havana to Fort Lauderdale. Southwest says the plane experienced bird strikes shortly after takeoff yesterday. Smoke seen here coming out of one of the engines. The plane forced to return to Havana where passengers had to evacuate. Some people went out on the wing, some people jumped down the slides. It was really hard to know how long we were going to survive trying to breathe in that. The latest in a recent series of scares in the skies. On Friday, a private business jet traveling from New Hampshire to Northern Virginia experienced severe turbulence. A woman on board killed. The plane had to divert to Bradley International Airport in Connecticut. Requesting medical assistance on the runway. That came just a couple of days after a Lufthansa jumbo jet flying from Austin, Texas to Frankfurt, Germany, experienced turbulence so serious that the plane had to divert to Washington Dulles Airport and seven people were taken to the hospital. Passengers said the plane fell at least a thousand feet, with one telling CNN it was, quote, like unexpectedly free falling for five seconds off the top of a roller coaster. Experts say in those harrowing moments, flight attendants are in serious danger. The carts that they're moving can weigh in excess of 300 pounds. And you hit some clear air turbulence, that cart hits the ceiling, you know, the roof of the aircraft, it can kill people. And analysts have this warning for passengers. When you're sitting in your seat in an airliner or any aircraft, wear that seatbelt because it is pretty unpredictable. In December, at least 25 people were injured, many of them taken to emergency rooms after a Hawaiian Airlines flight encountered severe turbulence. Why so many incidents of turbulence recently? It's winter. That's when clear air turbulence in particular tends to rear up. But secondly, scientists are looking at whether it's a, the change in the jet streams that are being brought about by climate change. And more close calls on the ground. The wing of one United Airlines plane struck the tail of another as it was pushing back from the gate today at Boston Logan Airport. This incident and more runway incursions recently, experts say, are indications of an overloaded system. With the limitations of concrete, the limitations of the runway and taxiways absolutely stressed to the max, it's actually a wonder these things don't happen more often.